I have trained thousands of sales reps. Over the last decade, I have seen it all. Everything from selling sunglasses to selling cars, selling multi-hundred million dollar government contracts to selling SaaS, selling marketing agencies to info products, selling real estate, you name it, I've seen it, I've done it, and overworking with those thousands of reps, I've started to recognize some patterns. Who burns out? Who excels? Who's naturally dispositioned to be good at sales and who's not? Most reps, when they come across objections, they get into battle mode, put up the gloves, start boxing, and it increases sales resistance. It makes it super difficult for them to actually get the clothes. And the best way to combat that is to do exactly the opposite of what they expect. Most people, though, never use silence to their advantage because they just think about that awkward first date. I'll be honest, when I made this entire curriculum, I went through, and I was thorough, I went through pretty much every single part of pre during and even post sales that I could think of. The problem though is every single sales conversation is unique. In chess, you have somewhere around 10 to the 120th power variations of what the board can look like. It's a lot of unique cases. And in sales, it's the same. See, what really helps reps become better reps is understanding the principle, understanding the frame and the goals, the why, the what, the how. That's what I wanna focus on in these lessons. Warren Buffett said it best. It's not about how hard or fast you can row, but the boat that you're in. And this line says everything about your success in sales. Thus, no more lying. And no more lying to sell. Old sales reps meet Asteroid and begins a new era of sales, a new way of selling. Welcome to 